Florence Nightingale Hospital was built in 1989. It has 900 hospital beds, four hospitals, and one university. It's centrally located in Istanbul and serving for 25 years as the most prestigious and important hospital groups in Turkey. We perform about 120 to 130 liver transplants a year. We have performed about 1,000 liver transplants and more than 80% are live donors. Living donor liver transplantation combines two technically challenging procedures. As a tertiary referral center, we are facing many problematic donors who have been rejected for anatomic variations. We are also dealing with potential recipients who have been deferred or found ineligible for technical problems. Finding answers to these challenges curing our patients and watching them going back to family and work makes us satisfied in our work with transplant patients. Successful liver transplantation extends life expectancy and enhances quality of life in patients with decompensated cirrhosis. Most of the patients with hepatocellular cancer have underlying liver cirrhosis and liver transplantation is more effective treatment than liver resection. That way, the tumor is removed and the liver disease is cured. We are trying hard to make it with minimal morbidity and near zero mortality. We are focusing on improving the living donor liver transplant quality. Because in Turkey, we don't have much disease donors, but the families are big and very close. You need big families that are bounded to each other to perform this operation and get the support of the whole team. It's a multidisciplinary approach from every aspect of medicine. We need good hepatologists, good radiologists, good surgeons basically, and good anesthesiologists and ICU people to succeed the operations and have high rates of survival. You have to trust your team and uh, you have to be lucky enough to have people around you to do donate because again there's a lack of donation especially in turkey and um, and i was again one of the luckiest people in the whole world I, I think that's how i feel and now i feel good my i i can walk i can i i started being hyperactive again <laughs> i've seen many technical innovations during the last decade that I spent at Florence Nightingale Hospital, we performed the first dual left lobe transplantation, full right, full left split liver transplantation for two adults and dominal liver transplantation in Turkey. We also performed the first dual donor exchange living donor liver transplantation in Europe. And we reported the first simultaneous living donor liver transplantation and aortic valve replacement in the world. These twins are worldwide the first case uh, of uh, citrullinemia who underwent a successful living donor liver transplant. One got the left lateral lobe of the mother and the other one got the left lateral lobe of the father. And the transplantation was more than one year ago and they are in a very good uh, condition now. We first treated our patients and now we teach people how to treat their patients. We uh, continue to perform transplantation and then we continue to teach people how to do transplantation. And this is a um, very enthusiastic and uh, enjoying procedure. You teach and you treat. In the United States, always the volume of live donors are not very high, maybe uh, 200 to 300 a, a per year maximum. Worse than some Eastern countries, maybe in Turkey is one of them, they can do as many as 100, 125 per year. It's important for uh, the live donor physicians and the surgeons, but most important the surgeons, get their initial experience and further experiences and uh, training in high volume live donor liver transplant centers. I think Florence Nightingale uh, is one of the unique places um, around the globe that is offering that kind of an option, both for the physicians and most importantly for the surgeons to get their further experience. I am proud of our living donor liver transplant program. When we look at 
the 15 years back, we can see that at the beginning it was a necessary evil. But now, with technical achievement, it's a simple and reproducible operation. I think our efforts will make it better and near zero mortality in the future. And I'm proud of that. Me, my colleagues, my friends, and all the patients and the hospital administration had a great effort to make a successful living donor liver transplantation program in this hospital.